Show us evidence of this Lord ESN camp. Arrested commanders. I pour theirs NCA Mugano. The indigenous people of Biafra Ipov has accused the director of the National Intelligence Agency near Mohamed Mungano of desperately attempting to blackmail its members. Ipov said Mungano's claim that security agent dislodged camp belonging to the Eastern Security Network ESN and arrested some of his commanders was false. Powerful disposal of Ipov challenged Mungano to name and produce evidence of ESN camp he had led security operatives dislodged and his commanders arrested. A statement by Power Four is partly the attention of the global movement and family of indigenous people of Biafra Ipop under the command and leadership of a great prophet and indefeatable liberator, Mazenam the Kanu Okuchuku Kanu, has been drawn to the shameful, disgraceful, and fallacious statement credited to the famous, infamous terrorist, sponsor, and director of the National Intelligence Agency. Etajana Muhammad Babagana Munguno to the effect that they dislodged ESN camp and arrested some of its members and commanders. This near boss is main corporate behind the numerous attack kidnapping and banditry in Nigeria since he assumed office in 2015. Mugano was among those who were colluding with Boko Haram to ravage his state of Bono. The near director claimed that they attacked ESN camp and the rest of commanders, we challenged them to mention the camp they dislodged and produce video evidence of the commanders they claimed to have arrested. Mugano and his co-traveler should stop their public dance of shame, deception and lies against our poor because it will not bring any positive result to you and co-conspirators, rather it shall destroy you and your criminal agency. IPOB and ESN are too sophisticated for you to understand, let alone have opportunity to penetrate ESN camp. We are intelligent freedom fighters, not Fulani Taurus, as men or Boko Haram, which you set up and use to achieve your twin agenda of making money and pursuing Islamization of the southern and middle belt region of Nigeria. You must know that you are addressing intelligent people in the world, and particularly Biafran's Mugano. You are near, can't look at the camp of ESN operatives. Now, what this news is saying is that contrary to what Mugano said, contrary to what his claim was, he lied to the people. ESN and their commanders were not arrested. It is a false story to make the people to believe that they are working. And this is what they have continued to do for so long. If they really believe that they can arrest the commandants of ESN, how come they went ahead to kidnap Mazin and the Kano from Kenya with the help of Igbo leaders? Let me tell you something. There is something these people don't understand. Lies don't hide for long because truth always conquer this is a man who was a member of Boko Haram today he is a near agency director of the international intelligence agency just like Buhari made Patami Minister of Communication, and to date he has continued to tap people's line. When they talk to their brothers and sisters for a money, Patani will send Bandi to go and wait for them on the road and take the money. That is what is happening. And some of you will not understand this. You will be there eating yam and uh, drinking akam. And I want to bring it down now so that people will understand. We have done everything possible to make the world know that uh, these people who are ruining this country are terrorists. Because when you, you are ruled by a terrorist president, every other thing in that country will be terrorism. If a Christian becomes a president today, 
or maybe a Muslim who does not believe in terrorism in Nigeria, you will see how these people will be eradicated, eradicated. That is the truth. Like I've always said, there's bad people everywhere in Nigeria, but when it comes to terrorism, we know who are the people operating that. Because other people don't know how to do it. They don't know. In fact, they sound somehow in their mind. That is why they don't put their hand in such them. So if this man claim he attacked his Eastern Security Network camp and disarmed them, dislodged them, he should at least show us the videos of the so-called arrested commanders he claimed he arrested. Then we will know that what they are saying is the truth. But again, what baffles me is why they have continued to attack Eastern Security Network. At the process trying to attack them, they have killed so many innocent youth in Igbo land. The question is, what is it are they afraid of? ESN is their land, created to protect their land. Why can't these people go back to their land and protect their own land? Because if they are doing what Igbos are doing, by now we will not have any single terrorist in our land, in Nigeria. But they cannot do that. Rather, they prefer to tell you that they dislodge people protecting their own land. It is not madness. Buhari government is a useless government. And this is how, why some of us are continuing to say it. When we have a good government, we will talk about it. Yamadua was there as a president while Gulo Jonathan was his vice. Yamadua was a good man. That was why we voted him. That was why we respect him till his death. He is a flanny, but he was a good man. He made peace with everybody. He does not want to hear anything about terrorism. This is the kind of people we talk about. Respectable flanny men, not Buhari. Buhari is a terrorist. And people should say it the way it is. People can be afraid, like, oh, like, yeah, don't give a damn. Man died but just once. After all, Mazen and the Kalhu is in DSS custody, suffering to a year and six months. He's a human being. He's senior me. He's my, he's older than me. But he's there. Unless you have not gone to DSS custody, you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> But he is there. And he has continued to reject all the promises they are making to him to drop the agitation. He has continued to reject all. This is why I heard some people trying to mess up with his, what, he, his, what he left behind. I will not take it from anybody. This man should come out and show us the video of the men he claimed he arrested who happens to be Eastern Security Network commanders. Let him come out and show us. And we will understand. Because I have seen a lot. You can only dislodge a security outfit when there is somebody inside that security outfit sabotaging the security outfit. And which of course I don't think so. In the whole world, no soldier will claim that he dislodged a security outfit or let somebody among them is sabotaging them. And I don't believe that is the truth. So if we really believe that what he's saying is the truth, he should come out with the video evidence to show that. If not, he should uh, arrest his case and go to hell and burn to ashes because we know them how they run their mouth from here to here and the, how they lie from the other side of their mouth. When they come to flying terrorists, they don't talk about it too. Buhari told them that he wished them well in kidnapping. That's what Buhari told them, their kinsmen. He said, brothers, I wish you well for kidnapping. Go on and kidnap whatever you see, take. That's the only thing that man can say, could say, I mean. 
But they have continued to frustrate people who are protecting their land so that the bad people that they are allowed to come into Nigeria will not come into their land. In fact, they are done to the extent they are not giving their uniform. To this, to, they are not giving you enough uniform to disguise them to come into our land. And they are succeeding in that because everybody pretend to say, ah, they are soldiers, they are soldiers. Soldiers are burning people's houses. In which place, which place does that happen? They are not fighting war, nothing. And soldiers are burning people's houses. These are terrorists in military uniform sent with soldiers by Buhari government. Say the things the way it is and people will know how to tackle it. Yes. Now, which one is the Now, which one is the any idea we want them, I go knock on here. Nothing that happened. I said, I'm talking. I'm the one saying it. He recruited some bunch of terrorists and gave them to the military to bring to land. And these are the people burning down houses. If you listen to their language, their slang, whenever they are doing those things, you understand. A real military man cannot speak such slang. These are slang of Boko Haram. Listen to them and listen to the newly created Boko Haram. You will understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> People like me don't. We reason. We don't behave like fools. We reason. Listen to their language, their slang. Whenever they are burning people's houses, the one in military uniform. Now listen to the newly created Boko Haram. I've forgotten their name. You will understand what I'm saying. These are them. These are not the real military. But the military are aware of it because they are working with them hand to hand. Just like Danjuma said, the former general. I respect that man because he has come to say the truth. He's a general. He was a general. And today he has come to say, protect yourself. These people who call themselves military are aiding the full of terrorists to take over your land. So this is it. I don't have much to say. Just like as he brought in Patani to become your communication minister, and he has been tapping your line, sending terrorists to go and attack you. Just like he gave you, he gave you hope of them, and today he has turned to be Ebo Weja in Imo State, sucking people's blood. Just like how he gave you David Omai. And today he has continued to all, sell all sorts of rubbish to all trances that we are going to deal with in time to come. This is how also secretly he added the wicked, the murder innocent people you know people. Brothers and sisters, wake up from sleep. We are going to teach them a lesson when the time arrives. And we will continue to push until Biafra is restored. Hey, Biafra. Or hey, Biafra. And you must hey, Biafra, whether you like it or not.